Hey, in this video, we're going to take a look at MelioPayments.com, an alternative to Build.com, and it's free and super easy, so stay tuned. Hey, everybody, this is David Ferguson with TechSmart Boss here with another video, and today I'm going to look at this product called Melio, MelioPayments.com. I see this as an alternative to Build.com, which I used for, for, for many years, in fact, uh, but the pricing got a little bit too high for what my usage was. And what attracts me to this, it says free. <laughs> free is, is always good, but what's the catch? Um, looks like, after digging in, I mean, this is a great, it looks like a great solution. Basically, you're going to add in your, your business, either credit card or debit um, banking information. You're going to be able to process your bills. Your vendors will get a check or a bank transfer. Uh, and it looks like it's pretty easy and it syncs with QuickBooks. Now, I wish it synced with Zero, which is our choice of, uh, of accounting system, but they say that that's coming. If you look at the pricing, I think I figured out how they're making their money. They're making all their money on companies that are basically not debt free and don't have a lot of money in the bank and are using credit cards. So if you do pay with your credit card, that's where they're making their money. You're going to get that that's that extra surcharge. But if you follow the advice that we talk about here on Tech Smart Boss and you run your business debt free, then look at this. This is a free service for you. It looks really really cool and um i mean I, you know, from what i can tell even the check that they mail is going to be free so i want to go ahead and try this out and i don't you know this is one of those things where i'm not going to be able to show you my banking account information i'm not going to actually send a check but let's go ahead and get started and see what their uh onboarding process is going to be okay so i could if i did use quickbooks they've got that integrated i'm going to go ahead and sign up with an email i'm going to put my work email in here and I don't hide that, but I probably will blur that out so that you don't see that. Um, but I've talked about it a lot on the podcast. So just go listen to our podcast and you'll hear all about my primary business. All right. Now, let me go and pause this for a second and get this code. And I'll be right back. All right. Got my code. Verification. I'm in. All right. That's really simple. Now, I'm going to assume... It's going to want to get some banking information. Well, it's going to ask me for my business information. So I'll put that in. And let's see what else is want. Probably my address. Yeah, it's going to put my address in there. Again, none of this stuff is really things that I uh, keep secret. But um, like I say, if you want to go to my podcast, you can figure out everything about TechSmart Boss. But let's go ahead and continue this onboarding mobile number now this is one thing that i will keep secret you don't need guys don't need to call me on my cell phone let's see what's next and my name I mean, you know my name so we can not blur this out so pretty i mean so far this is pretty easy a nice little review and confirmation process here and it says setup is complete and it's ready to schedule my first payment so yeah i mean you really can't get much much better than that i'm gonna go ahead and say no thanks later so we can take a look at the interface and see how, I mean, I, I think they have an extremely attractive UI and their website is very professionally done, which which is what attracted me to this in the first place. And let's take a look. So we've got add my first bill payment. So that's going to be the pay section. You can see your schedule and your paid. We might come back and, and simulate one of those requests. Now, this is interesting. I can request to get paid on this. So that's something that I did not get from their website, but that's uh, that's that's pretty interesting. Let's see what happens if I hit create a link. Okay, so kind of like a little Venmo, a little PayPal link. Um, that's that's pretty interesting. We might take that and and take a look in the browser window and see how that looks. Contacts. So this is where I can add my vendors and my customers. Very nice. And this under settings. So this is going to be a lot. They, you know, they still haven't asked me for payment method yet. I'm, I'm assuming before I could actually process a bill, they would. But let's let's walk through and see what we can do. Again, I'll blur out some of this. I can put my logo up there. I can. Uh, here's where I can set up the debit card or the bank account. Of course, I'm going to be doing bank account on this one and get this for free. Receiving. So if I did get money, again, I can do that ACH. That's very nice. 
here's the integration you can see that they have things grayed out here so they're going to do more than zero they got big plans which is great the billing if you did have any of those transaction charges and, and then you've got support all right let's go ahead and check out a couple things before we wrap this video up let's create that link and I'm gonna actually not call this my personal name I'll call it the business name I can't really see myself using this as much but let's go ahead and throw a logo in here and just see how this looks I'm gonna go ahead and put my stack logo which tends to work best in those small a little fuzzy there I'll come back and do that later uh, I do before I can make this link I do have to go ahead and set up the um, the bank transfer information I tell you what I'm gonna I'm gonna uh oh now this is interesting it's using plaid now I've seen in the past I've had some issues with my business banking on plaid but I'm gonna go ahead and pause this for a second and try to go through this well let's uh, Let's just see. Yeah, I'm going to pause this for a second and go through this, and I'll be right back. Okay, just one brief. I haven't done it yet, but what's cool is Plaid did not have my business bank. And, yeah, I, I'm not banking with underneath my sofa here or underneath my bed. I got a legitimate business bank. It's a huge bank, but for some reason, they're just not in Plaid. You know, I like community banks. I like smaller community banks. I don't put my money with these big banks. I like to like to work with community bankers. So, anyhow, this is cool. It's going to let me link my bank uh, manually. So I'm going to pause it again while I put this in. All right. So I put in my routing number and my account number. And now this link is ready. I'm going to copy this. And I'm just going to open it up in a new tab. Let's just see what, what it would look like if I did request somebody send me money. This could, this could be great for freelancers, consultants. I mean, I'm loving this for that aspect. But for corporate business, not so much. But this is, I mean, I, personally, I you know, my guy who cuts my grass does not have uh, the ability for me to pay him uh, online like this I need to tell him about this because he could use this for free because he doesn't want to pay fees and things like that so this, this is nice I really I really like that all right let's go back and get out of this and I just want to do one scheduled bill payment Let's just see what that interface looks like so I'm not gonna I'll just uh, so here we go I can upload a bill file it's pretty cool sync so that'd be nice when they get zero integrated I love that let's add it manually and I don't want to make I, I'm just gonna look at this interface it looks like it's pretty straightforward you enter the vendor name how much you want to pay them the bill number the due date a note and I'm sure on the next step you'll be able to put in address information and all that sort of stuff. So I think, you know, we, we've, we've taken a look and seen enough. Uh, this is a pretty cool uh, sort of application. It's going gonna, it's gonna to replace bill.com for me. And because I'm using debit, it is completely free. Can't beat that. So if you're looking for bill pay, and for me, my bank, and this is one of the things on community banks, they charge me like 10 bucks a month if I want to use their bill pay, even though I've got quite a lot of money sitting in the bank with them. Um, but that's just, you know, that's community banking. This is great. So if you're in a situation like me where you do need business bill pay or even to receive money, I say take a look at MelioPayments.com. This is a really nice system. Hey, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We put out one new video a week. And also check out our Facebook page and our website, TechSmartBoss.com. I'll talk to you in the next video.